Brothers and sisters, Quran is Allah's gift to us. Quran is Allah's communication to us. Quran is what makes Islam great. Quran is the untouchable book that wherever a Muslim goes with Quran, he is safe. With Quran, he can speak. With Quran, he is noticed. Why? Because Quran has given him life. Inshallah, to begin with, and Fatiha, to check our Fatiha, is it correct? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us always to remember his bounties upon us, his favors upon us. As he said, Remember Allah's favors upon you. Remember Allah's bounties upon you. Remember Allah's blessings upon you. My dear brothers and sisters, it is a great, great favor to find yourself today in our midst. You will not understand this until you ask the sick person on the bed. On the bed. Who wants to come here? But due to sickness, he cannot come. The one in the hospital, the one at home, who cannot move. He would love to come here, but subhanAllah, he cannot, he, can, he cannot make it because he's sick. So due to that, you are here, say Alhamdulillah. Many people fast last year with us, this year they are not here. But Allah has given you the opportunity, Allah has prolonged your life, Allah has given you a long life, He made it easy for you to see this Ramadan, so remember and say Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, our nightly reminder this Ramadan, we will begin with something very special. Why? Because we are in the month of something special. And that is the month of Al-Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Shahad Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. Hudan lil-Nasi wa bayinatil min al-Huda wal-Furqan. It is in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Qur'an. So we are in the month of Al-Qur'an. Ya Allah, we thank you for the gift of Qur'an. Ya Allah, make us among the people of Al-Qur'an. My brothers and sisters, Al-Qur'an al-Kareem, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allam. The best among you is he who learns the Qur'an and teaches the Qur'an. Qur'an is a blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب. It is a book, a blessed book, which we have revealed to you. ليدبروا آياته so that they will ponder over him its word, its its verses. ليدبروا آياته so that they may reflect, they will reflect upon over its verses. وليتذكر أولو الألباب. And the people of understanding will take heed al Quran. al Quran is a savior, is an intercessor. It will come and save us the day of judgment. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-Siyam wa al-Quran wa yashfa'an min abdi yawm al-Qiyam. Yaqul al-Siyam, ay rabbi, man atul al-Ta'ama. من عدو الطعام بالنهار والشهوات بالنهار فشفيني فيه قرآن فاسم وسيق الله نبي الجنب الله I forbid him food in the afternoon and his desires in that afternoon during Ramadan when he was fasting so Allah grant me his intercession. Let me intercede for you. And Quran will come. I rabbi man'atul nawma bin layl fa shafi'ni fee. Oh Allah, I did not let him sleep in the night. He read Quran. He read me. So Allah, make me intercede for him. And Quran and fasting both will intercede as the Prophet said, fa yashfa'an. And they will be granted that intercession to intercede for whoever takes good care of you. We pray that may the Quran and the fasting intercede for all the day of Jannah. Allahumma amin. Brothers and sisters, Quran, as I said, is Allah's book and it must be read the way it was revealed. Quran is Allah's book and it must be read the way it was revealed. You don't read Quran the way you want to read the Quran, but you have to read Quran the way Allah wants you to read the Quran. Because it's Allah's word, it's Allah's book, it's Allah's communication. The moment you change something in it, you change Allah's book. Many of us, none is perfect, but many of us know the way they are reciting the Quran is not the right way. And this is the truth. It is only in Islam you will see a person knows, I don't know this thing, but he will still claim it. And you do this, the day you will stand before Allah, Allah will answer. You have to answer. Why? Because of dunya, you have to read Quran the way Allah wants you to read Quran. Because it's Allah's book, so that you don't change Allah's talk. And the door to learn Quran is open for all of us. But people are divided into this. Some people don't want to learn the Quran because of arrogance. They are so arrogant. Now he has reached a level. To learn the Quran, he feels like how? Oh, I am better than the person who said I should go and learn the Quran from. I think I'm better than him. Or oh, my position is over his. The moment I go and learn from him, then that means I come down. And subhanAllah. If you know the importance of the Quran, you will do it. That's one. Some don't learn the Quran because they are shy. They know the way they are reciting is wrong. But they are so shy to come forward. To learn. My brother. The first one I'm not going to talk about him. The one who is arrogant, may Allah guide him. But to you who is shy, please. It's good to be shy. But when it comes to your deen, learn. When it comes to your deen, learn. Find a way. To learn your deen. Quran, no one is perfect in Quran. We are all students of knowledge. 
Ummuna Aisha radhiyallahu anha says Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Al-mahiru bil Qur'an ma'as safarati al-kiram al-barara Wal-lazhi yakra'u al-Qur'an wa yata-ta'atahu fihi wa huwa alayhi shaqun Lahu ajraj The one who is fluent Who is skilled in the Qur'an recitation Is always with the angels And the one who recites the Qur'an who falter in its recitation and is finding it difficult to recite Lahu Ajran Look, look, look Anytime you go up and down, Allah is giving you two rewards Anytime you keep going up and down, you get a reward on that SubhanAllah So why are we not learning? You learn, you get a blessing You learn and you are still not able to recite it, Allah knows you have tried but for you to sit down, knowing that the way I'm reciting this Quran is not right, you cannot recite it in public. Why? Because you know the way you're reciting it is wrong. Then you have to fix it. You are responsible. Allah will ask you the day of judgment. Why do you want to learn? Because we have many ways of learning today in this world. Allah has made things easy for us. You can be in your home, in your house, and learn Quran. We have no excuses. But subhanAllah, we still do that, recite, not the right way. We know it is not the right way, but we don't care. Only in Islam we see something like this. We are loving you. Brothers and sisters, the Prophet said, من قرأ القرآن من قرأ حرفا من كتاب الله فله فله بالحسن فله حرف ويكلم واحد you have one حسن you have what حسن والحسنة بعشر أمثالها كما قال سعد كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم والحسنة بعشر أمثالها أما أنا لا أقول ألف لام حرف ولكن ألف حرف ولام حرف ميم حرف Whoever recites the Quran you will have one reward and this reward will be multiplied to ten The Prophet said I'm not saying ألف لام ميم is a letter but no the ألف is a letter the lamb is a letter, the meme is a letter. So, Ali, 10 reward, lamb, 10 reward, meme, 10 reward. So, if you say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, how many more are you going to get? Uh, so, why are we, why are we neglecting this blessing that Allah has given us? أم الكتاب الفاتحة الرقية الفاتحة الوافي الفاتحة الكافي الفاتحة الشفاء الفاتحة الصلاة All these are names of سورة الفاتحة الفاتحة السبع المثاني الفاتحة القرآن العظيم Al-Qur'an al-Azim All these are names of this beautiful surah that Allah SWT has blessed us with Al-Fatiha And without it, your prayer is not accepted And dear brothers and sisters Qur'an, we need to go back and we have to go back to learn Qur'an So this night this year's night reminder our tahajjud reminder we will work on something that we use every day in the Quran. For example, there are some surahs that we read them every day in our prayers. We will work on them throughout this night, inshallah, learning how to recite them and giving little explanation on them so that we will ponder over them whenever we are reading. Because by pondering over what you are reading, knowing its meaning, it gives you more iman and it makes you more attentive in your prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we are going to begin with 
Ummul Kitab Al Fatih. Our talk tonight is going to be on Al Fatih. We recite Fatiha every day. How many times every day? How many times a day? Who can tell me how many times do we recite Fatiha a day? How many times? 17 times. That's without nafila. That's without nafila. But the question is to myself and to you, are we reciting it the right way? This is where the problem is. And do you know Fatiha? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la salata li man lam yakra bi Fatiha al kitab there is no prayer for he who does not recite Al Fatiha in the prayer. So, what if you're not reciting it right and you know it is not right and you are not learning to recite it right the right way? Who is responsible? Sometimes, when we are praying here, you see when there is a mistake, they correct. Why? Because none is perfect in the Quran. You will have slip of tongue sometimes. It happens, but they have to correct it because we cannot let you go like that. If someone is behind who knows or who is supposed to fix and he did not fix it, Allah will ask him the day of judgment. Why don't you fix it? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب Please. 
If we should take the whole of this night to then fight her, do you think we have some? Don't you think it is? <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. So, is there anybody who wants to help us recite? Yes. <laughs> Louder, please. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين أها إهدنا الصراط المستقيم إهدنا الصراط المستقيم لا يا إهدنا الصراط المستقيم سامو سيد إهدنا الصراط المستقيم but اهدنا الصراط المستقيم let's go اهدنا الصراط المستقيم okay غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بارك الله فيك ما شاء الله I take me may Allah bless you I pray this be a witness for you in Jannah Allahumma amin